Beneath the waves of Virginia, something massive is happening. A machine the size of a football field is digging through the earth. It's carving a path underwater, under roads, under history. This is no ordinary tunnel. It's part of a $4 billion mega project. A rebuild so bold, it's changing everything. Traffic, trade, travel, and the future of a city that never stops moving. Secrets lie below the surface. Steel, concrete, and pressure that could crush a car. But still, it moves. Why? What's the plan? And what's the cost? Let's go inside the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel Expansion. Why it matters. Hampton Roads isn't just another spot on the map. It's one of the most important gateways on the U.S. East Coast. Three rivers, James, Nansimund, and Elizabeth, meet here and pour into the Chesapeake Bay. This place has shaped history for hundreds of years. At the heart of it is Naval Station Norfolk. It's the most extensive naval base in the world. Every day, ships and submarines leave these waters to patrol the globe. It's a key part of America's defense. But that's not all. Hampton Roads is also a significant link between the Northeast and the South. It connects cities, ports, and beaches. Millions drive through it every year. And every summer, traffic grinds to a halt. The roads can't keep up. The tunnel system is old and overwhelmed. Fixing this isn't just about making commutes shorter. It's about keeping the region running, safety, the economy, and the future. If the roads fail, everything slows down. Military, business, tourism. That's why this project matters. It's not just concrete and steel. It's a lifeline for the region, and it's built to last a century. History. The Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel has been breaking ground since day one. In 1957, it became the first tunnel in the world to connect two man-made islands. At the time, it was a bold move, an underwater highway linking Hampton and Norfolk. In 1976, a second tunnel was added to handle more traffic, but the design was meant for a different era. Back then, the system could support around 60,000 cars a day. Today, it sees more than 100,000 on busy days. Over the years, traffic kept growing, and so did frustration. Congestion became a daily struggle. Planners knew something had to change. Studies were conducted for over 20 years. Experts explored every option, widening the road, building new tunnels, or even starting fresh. In the end, the need was clear. A major expansion had to happen. Now, that long-awaited vision is finally becoming real. Project Overview This is one of the most significant highway projects in Virginia's history. The plan is bold. Widen Interstate 64 and add new tunnels beneath the water. Nearly 10 miles of road will be transformed. Four lanes will become eight. That means more room, smoother traffic, and fewer delays. On the Hampton side, one mile of highway is being expanded. Two new marine bridges with four lanes will stretch across the water. These lead to an artificial island that's been made even larger for the project. Westbound traffic will keep using the old tunnel, but eastbound drivers will have something new. Two twin-lane tunnels bored deep under the harbor. Once on the Norfolk side, the upgrades continue. A new one-mile bridge will cross Willoughby Bay. The road then connects to Interstate 564. In total, over 20 bridges are being widened, rebuilt, or reworked in some way. But here's the twist. Despite the word tunnel, most of the project isn't underwater. In fact, over 65% is on land. Still, the work is massive. Traffic must stay open, and construction crews work carefully to avoid delays and keep people moving. Every part of the project is designed to handle more cars more safely and efficiently. It's a complete rebuild of a key travel route. This isn't just a fix. It's a complete transformation. Building the islands. The tunnels start and end on man-made islands. But one of them wasn't big enough. The northern peninsula had to grow. 
by 15 acres. Crews dug up sediment from the harbor. They piled it onto the island, shaped it, and packed it tight. Then they topped it with clean fill to make a solid base. The South Island didn't need to grow but needed significant changes. It had to make room for the giant tunnel boring machine. Roads, platforms, and support systems were added. These islands became more than land. They became launch pads for a massive underground journey. TBM Mary Meet Mary, one of the largest tunnel boring machines in the world. She's a giant underground drill built to dig through rock, sand, and clay. Her job? Carve a path beneath the water for the new tunnels. Mary is massive. She's 46 feet wide and over 430 feet long. Fully assembled, she weighs about 40,700 tons. That's as heavy as 1,000 elephants. Her cutter head spins to break apart the earth. A steel shield keeps everything stable. A long conveyor belt carries the soil out. Behind her, machines place concrete pieces to build the tunnel walls. She started on the South Island. Crews carefully lowered her into a bottomless pit. Then, she began her journey, digging slowly but powerfully toward the North Island. It took her nearly 51 weeks to make it. But then came the hard part. Mary had to turn around. Her 2,500-ton cutter head was rotated 180 degrees using a special nitrogen-powered table, which reduced friction and made the move possible. Giant cranes helped lift and shift her other parts into place. Inside the tunnel, balance was everything. Removing or adding segments at the wrong time could cause the tunnel to float. So crews replaced each piece with heavy concrete right away to keep things steady. Mary is more than a machine. She's the heart of the project. Without her, the new tunnels wouldn't exist. She's slow, strong, and incredibly precise. And she's built to dig history, one foot at a time. Timeline and delays. Big projects take time, and this one is no different. When work began, the goal was to finish by November 2020. But digging underwater, moving massive machines, and keeping traffic open isn't easy, and delays soon followed. Now the team expects to reach substantial completion by February 2027. Final touches, like road surfacing and safety checks, should be wrapped up by August 2027. Weather, logistics, and tight spaces all contributed to slowing things down. Still, crews keep pushing forward. Each delay brings new lessons. And the finish line, while moved, is still in sight. Funding big builds need big money. When the Hampton Roads expansion was first planned in 2016, the price tag was $3.3 billion. Since then, costs have climbed past $4 billion. It's now the most expensive transportation project in Virginia's history. Where does all that money come from? About 90% of the funding, roughly $3.58 billion, is from the Hampton Roads Transportation Accountability Commission, HRTAC which manages a special fund set up by the Virginia General Assembly. Two taxes were raised to fill that fund, a 7% sales and use tax and a 2.1% fuel tax across the region. The rest comes from federal and state sources, including $33 million in federal money and $132 million from the state of Virginia. Tolls will be added to help pay off debt and cover future maintenance. Two of the four lanes in each direction will stay free, and the other two will be variably priced toll lanes. One regular and one shoulder lane. Toll prices will change based on traffic levels. More traffic means a higher toll, and less traffic means a lower toll. It's a complex system, but every dollar helps keep this massive project moving forward and ensures its longevity for generations. Criticism Not everyone is on board with the expansion. Some believe widening roads won't solve traffic problems for long. They point to a problem called induced demand. More lanes often lead to more cars. In time, the traffic may return. 
Critics say the state missed a chance to invest in public transit. Ideas like light rail, buses, or even ferries were considered. But officials said those options wouldn't get enough riders and cost too much to build. Tolls have also raised concerns. Some worry that only wealthier drivers will be able to afford the faster lanes, leaving others stuck in traffic. Environmental groups have also voiced fears. They question the impact of construction on marine life and the Bay's delicate ecosystem. Still, supporters argue this is the best path forward. It's a tough balance between cost, time, traffic, and the future. And the debate will continue long after the digging stops. The Legacy The Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel expansion isn't just about today. It's built for the next 100 years, which is the lifespan engineers aim for. This project will shape how people move across the region for generations. It's more than a road. It's a symbol of growth, connection, and resilience. Cities will be closer. Travel will be smoother. And emergency response will be faster during storms or floods. The project may also serve as a model for other coastal cities. With rising sea levels and aging infrastructure, underwater tunnels like this could be the future. Though opinions differ, the scale is undeniable. This build shows what's possible when a region commits to change, from giant machines to artificial islands. People may not remember the traffic jams or delays for years from now, but they'll drive the road, they'll cross the bay, and they'll use a tunnel that once seemed impossible. A $4 billion tunnel underwater. A machine named Mary digs through the earth. Bridges, roads, and islands were rebuilt from the ground up. The Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel expansion is one of the boldest projects in America. It's more than construction. It's about the future of travel, safety, and connection. It's about solving problems with powerful ideas. Some people cheer, others question, but no one can ignore it. What do you think? Is this the answer to traffic or just the start of something bigger? Like, comment, and subscribe for more stories that shape the world beneath our wheels.